Hi, this is Cyprian from F here for all and in this video about Fortran uh, I'll show you how to make a, an if statement. So how, how do you take a decision and uh, choose an option and how do you write that in Fortran? So let's start by open, opening a new terminal uh, and I have a folder on my desktop on which I put all the programs that I already uh, created. So now I'll just cd into this, uh, sorry, it's not this one. I'll just cd into my desktop and my Fortran file. Okay, uh, just check that everything is inside. And yes, I have everything. So now let's uh, create a new file. Uh, so I will open it with Emacs and just put the name of the file. So I'll call that um test test dot f ninety five for a Fortran file. So it automatically uh creates the file. So I have to save it and now the if I open my folder well I will have this. Okay, but there's nothing inside right now. So let's uh, put up the code. So what will this program do? So I want to show you how to test the it to write the if conditions in Fortran uh, and I'll, I, I'll uh, show you also a few important things about uh, how to handle that. So let's start like the other program, program test and end program test that and in between comes whole uh, program. So what I will do in this program, let's just write write it like that, with comments. So the first thing will be um, to declare my variables. The second will be um, uh, ask the user to choose among a few options. And the third will be to um, to process the choice and to display um, to display in function of what the user uh, put. So give the answer. So now let's write the program, right? So um, what kind of variables will I have to do? Will will, uh, will I have to declare? So um, what I will do is simply ask the user to choose between one, uh, two or three and then do a different type of computation of two variable x and y uh, in function of the choice. So uh, what I need is uh, real two real value, values x and y and I need an integer which will include the choice from the user so I will just call it choice. Uh, and that's it, right? Uh, and now, to uh, the program need to ask the user choose uh, among the options. So for that, print uh, and print something. So first of all, I'll copy that. Print, um, please choose an option. Uh, paste. Now the first choice will be one add. Uh, let's go and just addition, right? Addition. Uh, choice two will be option two multiply. Uh, option three will be divide right uh, okay so now we just print out something um, and for the x values well let's just set them ourselves so uh, 12 and um, x will be equal to 12 and y will be equal to 23. Okay, and now 
uh, we want to read the user input and put it into the choice value and then we'll know what we do with those two variables. Of course, we could also ask the user to input x and y. That is not a problem. Right. So, uh, so now we use uh, what we learned in the previous tutorial. Read. So read the user input and put it into the value choice. So we have this choice. Uh, and now we need to process this choice. So the action we have to uh, make will be in function of the choice. So for that, we will use the if then syntax. So if uh, choice is, um, is one, then, so uh, then we will do uh, two things. So first of all, we will do an addition. So X, so, oh yeah, I need also answer. I need the real, I need another real called answer. Right, to store uh, the product. So answer will be equal to X plus Y. And the second thing we do is that just print out, um, print out answer is, and then my variable answer. Uh, and then we need to close the F so, um, and if, so that's it. Uh, now we need to process the two other choices. So basically we do the same thing. Uh, let's copy this and let's paste it two times. Just have to replace choice by two. And here, uh, we will multiply and last one three we will divide okay um remember that okay uh, x and y are reals so we can divide them together it should um an answer is a real too so that it should be working okay and uh okay i already gave the answer so well we can actually remove this last and that's all for the, the program, basically. So let's just say that. Uh, and let's just, let's just basically try to compute this. So I'm, I'm opening a shell in a second window. Um, and let's use gfortran uh, input O. And the name of my executable will be test. And the name of my file is test test.f95 computation works so a uh, compilation works sorry uh, so now I can try to run my executable and it asks me to please choose the option so uh, let's choose one and see what it gives me and it gives me the answer is 35 let's check that it works 12 plus 23 yes it's 35 let's try again um, two answer is 276 and if I do choice number three I'm getting 0 0.5521739 etc okay so my program works um, now there are a few things I want to uh, to complement and add so let's uh, I'll directly show you those things here in, inside um, inside here so uh, they are um, if your choice if the action you have and choice is very simple uh, basically you you have what is uh, the simple if statement so you can simplify your uh, your code by writing like that if then uh, let's say choice is four so even if i don't have any four uh, I can do directly uh, print print uh, and my action blah 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 and I don't even need to use the and if so I can directly go to the next slide and do the same thing if choice is equal to five 
well, I, I do something else like that. So this is a simple if statement. And um, now the last thing that I want to say is that if you, um, you know, a lot of time you will want to test for the value zero. Uh, so if, so what you will do is if uh, x is uh, evaluated as zero, then etc etc and the problem here is that if your x is real then uh, it doesn't exactly work like that because of the error so um, it's recommended to instead of doing that using the absolute value apps of x and uh, replacing the condition by absolute value should be inferior to 0 0.00001 for example uh, so if you have something like that, then, so this will be much more reliable than uh, X is uh, double equal to, to zero as uh, evaluated like that. Okay, so that's uh, all for uh, decision and, and if, then, uh, if then statements. So I hope you learn a lot and in the next video we'll uh, take a look at how to do a for uh, loop, which is second major thing you need to know how, how to do in order to, to do simple programs uh, in Fortran. So if you are on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog fefall.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.